Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, be sure to subscribe for more videos, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing Roller Coaster Tycoon Deluxe Edition. Let's go ahead and get started on a new game. We are going to be playing Forest Frontiers today. And your objective is to have 250 guests in your park at the end of October, year one, with the park rating of at least 600. So I'm going to go over basic controls with you real quick. So I'm going to pause this. This obviously pauses and unpauses. This is where you can save, load your game, go into settings, or quit the game. This button will mute the game and unmute it. You can zoom out using this button, and you can zoom in. This one will rotate your camera. And this view lets you do a bunch of things. You can see underground, and you just click again to make it go away. And it does things like you can see through the scenery. Click on this one. This one's your map. I'm not sure why the picture's not loading, but you can click anywhere on the map and it'll take you to that section of the park. And to move around, you can hold your right mouse button and move. This is your landscaping button. You can increase your size by hitting this. You can decrease by hitting the minus button. If you would like to make a hill, you can drag up and it'll make a rounded hill. If you don't want it round and you just want a singular one, you can hit the plus button until it goes back to the singular one. Now you can drag it up and it'll erase just one square. You can also drag it down. And if you want to do just one corner, you hover over till the corner comes up and you lower it the same way. You can also change the terrain type. If you want to change it back to grass, just click the grass button. If you would like to make a pond, you need to lower the ground level first. Click the water button and raise it up and that creates a pond. If you would like to get rid of water, you just come over here to the terrain tool and you bring it up and it gets rid of the water. This is your pathways. The blue one is your queued pathways. That's gonna give you the entrance to your rides. And there's normal pathways and then bridges. We're gonna build a queue pathway. Now I'm gonna build a normal one. Oops, I forgot scenery. If you click this, this brings up all the scenery options. There's all your trees. You've got bushes, tropical and desert plants, flowers, your lamps, your benches, your trash cans, and signs. These are your walls, and these are fountains and statues. This is where your rides are. You have transportation rides, gentle rides, your roller coasters, thrill rides, your water rides, and the shops and stalls. We're going to go ahead and build our first ride. To do that, you click on whatever ride you want and click build this. We're going to place it right here. There's a tree in the way. So what we're going to want to do is right click over the tree and it will get rid of it for you. And we're going to want to place it back once so you can place the entrance and exit. There's all these options you can choose from up here. This one will show you how much it costs to ride the rides. I don't like to charge anything because I like to charge the entrance fee on the park instead. So I'm going to set that to free. We're going to go ahead and open this ride. This will show you all your financial information. You've got your graphs here you can look at. And this is your marketing campaigns. This will come in handy later. This is your research and development. Up here it shows what you're currently researching. And this shows what's already developed. On this button you can choose different types of funding. And this is what you're researching. If you don't want to research something, you can just unclick it. And if you do want to research something, you just click back. This shows all your rides in the park. We've only got one right now, but if you click on it, it will bring up this window. And if you click these arrows, it'll take you directly to the ride. You can also open and close all your rides at once here. This will take you to the main park entrance. We're going to go ahead and open it. And this is some more graphs. It shows your park rating, the number of guests over time. This is the money. This shows you where you can raise or lower your entrance fee. Park statistics and your objective. This is for your awards. This button shows you all the guests. Right now we don't have any, so I'll show you this later. Now we need to hire some staff. We need to hire a handyman. You need to drop them wherever. We're gonna hire a mechanic, a security guard, 
and some entertainers. And then you just close out of all these windows. And then the last button shows you your recent messages and it will also pop up down here. So we're going to go ahead and unpause this. The first thing I like to do is build a bathroom right next to the entrance. You can use this button to rotate your buildings. So now we're going to place the drink stall and you need to open them. We're going to place a burger stall and now we're going to place the ice cream stall. We're going to go ahead and place another ride. And once again, to delete the trees, you just right click. We're going to go ahead and open this ride. And now we're going to make a cued line and a normal pathway. And if you use this button, you can make it go up. This one makes it level and this one lowers it. And if you want to delete it, you can hit the bulldozer. We're just going to add some pathways. And same as the trees, if you want to delete the pathway, you just right click on it. We're going to open up another ride. Open it up, build your pathways. We're going to build our first roller coaster. We just got to get all these trees out of the way. Now we're going to build our pathways. Guests are complaining that our entrance fee is too cheap, so we're going to go ahead and raise our entrance fee up $10. I'm going to build a haunted house, make its pathways. I'm going to put a slide. Now I'm going to place a few benches, a few trash cans, a few more benches and some lighting. We're going to come over here and check on our people. You can filter through this and make it thoughts instead of actions. You can also group them all together. And if you want to find somebody in particular, you can click on their name and click on these little arrow buttons and it'll take you to them. You can also pick them up with this little claw and drop them wherever you want. You can see their thoughts, how much money they've spent, the statistics, what they're feeling, and where they're at. We're going to build this card ride. Got to get these trees out of the way. I'm going to place the pathways. We just got a new ride, so I'm going to go ahead and place a Ferris wheel. Now we're going to try to build our own roller coaster. You can rotate the building, and you're going to lay a few of these tracks down first. You can go forward and up by clicking this button. You need to hit chain so you can pull the cart up. Level it out. We're going to turn it. And lower it. Got to get these trees out of the way. Now we're going to raise it up again. Level it out and lower it again. We're going to go straight. Now we're going to curve. Okay, we ran out of money, so we're going to go up here to our finances. And we can go down here and ask for a loan. We just close out of that. We're going to finish this roller coaster. We're going to place an entrance and an exit. And now we're going to test the ride to see if it works. Oh, it doesn't go up all the way, so we're going to have to fix that. You need to close the ride before you can work on it. I'm going to hit the edit button. And we're going to move to the certain track. We're going to delete it. I'm going to try to add a chain and see if that helps. Okay, we're going to test it again. That still didn't work, so we're going to have to fix it again. Maybe it'll work this time. Okay, we're going to test it again. Okay, that still didn't work, so we're just going to delete it. We're going to try to place a pre-built one. Place the pathways. And now we're going to make a little pond. Gonna lower the ground first. 
We ran out of money, so I'm going to go ahead and ask for another loan. Okay, now we're going to raise the water up. We're going to place a little boat ride. We just got a new ride, so we're going to go ahead and place that. We're going to place our pathways. And our pathways are a little dirty, so I'm going to pick up our handyman and drop them on the little areas that need to be cleaned up. I'm also going to hire a few more. We're just going to close out of all these. Now we're going to place some benches, some trash cans, and a few lights. We've unlocked a new ride, so we're going to go ahead and place it. This is one of my favorite ones to place. We're going to go ahead and place the pathways. We're going to place another roller coaster. Just got to find one that fits. We're going to extend the pathway so it reaches. Now we're going to take a look at our objective. We're supposed to have 250 guests in the park at the end of the year with at least a 600 park rating. We're going to check the park rating. It's 849, so that's good. Basically, we're just going to have to sit and wait. Here's the rest of the park. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it, but we're just going to wait for our objective to be completed. Alright guys, we have completed our objective. Everyone's going to cheer for us now. I think that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in part two.